Good morning, Rock Church, my brothers and sisters on YouTube and Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevens, and it is Tremendous Thursday. That's right, y'all. It's Tremendous Thursday. We're right here, got a tremendous word. I'm so glad to be in the land of the living. God's blessing on each and every one of you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you, God, for giving us life and breath and everything else. Oh, man. To be able to connect with you at this time right now. God, I pray that our hearts will be open. I pray for everyone who will take opportunity to take a, a deep dive into what you're doing in our lives. How are we to be different? Bring us to a place this day of resolve to what you have to say. And may we respond in a way that will be pleasing to you. Come on in, Holy Spirit. Have your way in this place. Hallelujah. Yeah, our hearts are ready to be receptive. We pray this in Jesus' name that God's people say amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, it's good. It's good to be with you all this morning. Um, as we continue our devotion, I just want to lift you all up in congratulate each and every one of you all who have been listening and been following these devotions throughout the year you don't have to been doing you don't have to do it every day but for those of you all who've been listening and and making some changes and deep uh, taking deep dives into uh, your personal walk with Christ uh, you to be commended come on let's give all this let's, let's let's give everybody a big hand because you need to be commended if this is your first day it's a, it's a new day. Y'all need to be commended because uh, it's about your relationship with Christ. And then we know that it translates, you know, in areas of our lives that are becoming, and then it impacts others. So what you're doing, the having this devotion, you know, it's it's uh, you're not it's not in vain. It's not in vain. So just just uh, be encouraged. So today's devotion, I, I, I titled this devotion, Stop Making Excuses. Stop Making Excuses. And I don't know who's this for, but I, I know that it's easy to, to make excuses. You know, it's easy to say, hey man, the reason why, you know, I, I didn't do this because this happened. Is there, is there, is there anything in your life or areas of your life that you just find yourself, you know, making excuses? See, what I found out that we can actually do what we really want to get done. Things that we want to see done, we can get them done. We got to figure out what can I do different in whatever area of my life that I may not make excuses. And it's, it's important. And brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, man, we've been doing this 349 days. And there has been more than a hundred times in my head when I thought, man, maybe I'll do this another day. I couldn't make an excuse. God put it on my heart to do it. There can be no excuses why I didn't do it. I, yes, I do get tired and studying and my brain be whoosh, gracious. There's a lot of preparation besides doing these daily devotions. There's a lot of preparation to have my Wednesday Bible studies, my Sunday mornings. A lot of preparation that goes into behind the scenes that have the church open and do all the other things. I, I have a lot of stuff that's really going on in my life to say, you know what, I'm going to put this on the back burner. But if you say you're going to do something, you got to let your yes be yes and your no, no. We can't make excuses why we don't do what God has instructed us to do. Come on, y'all. Come on now. I just want to talk to us because we're going, in, we're going to another year. We want to, we, we want to be able to say, I've been, I've been equipped. I've been equipped. To be this, be what I need to be in Christ. See, all this for the sake of Christ, so we don't make no excuses. We'll be different. Let me, let me just give y'all a story. I think you all be encouraged. 
This story comes out of uh, Luke chapter 14, verse 15 to 23. It says, when one of those who reclined at the table with him heard these things, he said to him, blessed is everyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, a man once gave a great banquet and invited many. And at that time for the banquet, he sent his servant to say to those who have been invited, come for everything is now ready. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a field and I must go and see it. Please have, please have me excused. Another said, I have bought five yokes of oxen and I go to examine them. Please have me excused. Another said, I've married a wife and therefore I cannot come. So the servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house became angry and said to his servant, go out quickly to the streets and lanes of the city and bring in to the, bring in, in the poor, the crippled, and the blind and lame. And the servant said, sir, what you command us has been done. There's still room. And the master said to his servant, go out to the highways and edges and compel people to come in that my house may be filled. Now here, we're sitting up here, this man sitting at the table with Jesus. And Jesus was helping him to understand some things about the glory of God and the kingdom of God. But many people turned down the invitation to the banquet because the time was inconvenient. And so here it is, there's going to be a time where, and it's happening today, where people, we Christians, share your faith and their other says the reason why they're not coming to Jesus. There's so many excuses about how, why we're not connecting to the things of God, to the ways of God. And so, and so, so when when we look at this illustration, it's, it was really about being the timing and inconvenience. It just was an inconvenient time. It became problematic because they just couldn't come to the banquet. And anytime there was an invitation that to come to somebody's banquet that was given to you, and, and, and in preparation, the invitee made sure everything that was in the house ready, get ready, done, and all they had to do was come. There, there, there's something, there's something when I, when I think about this, this passage, is that the life that the world live in today? Do we make excuses about the banquet of God, coming into the kingdom of God, and doing the things of God? So I, I want to ask you this question. When you make excuses, do you find them reasonable? Like this is the reason why I'm not going to do this. I mean, I mean, you you have a good rational reason why you're not going to do what you should be doing. Now, I, I, I tell you, I now I know there are things that we do and responsibilities we have, and things come up. But are there just decisions we make once we, you know, I just can't do it because I don't want to do it. Do, do we do we follow the ways of God because of you know that uh, because that's the right thing to do, or do we follow the ways of God because you know you know there, there are some consequences if I don't. The the truth of the matter is, things do happen in our lives. We have work responsibility, we have family responsibilities, you know, we have community responsibilities, you know, we got financial responsibilities. Uh, and, and so, and so, when God asking us to do something, what out what out trumps what we do? Th that's the question. That's the question. What out trumps what we do? So, so God has given us an invitation for His kingdom. And I'm gonna tell you, when I first got the invitation to come into the kingdom of God, I didn't take it. Shoot, I had about two, maybe five or six of them. I didn't take them. And just not being in the will of God just messed my life up, right? I just had so many different issues because I didn't, I turned down the invitation. Brothers and sisters, I know we are saved. 
filled with God's spirit. But I want to encourage us not to turn down God's invitation to be in his will. Not to be, because here's it is, man. God will, if it ain't you, he going to use. He going to use somebody else. Come on, somebody. So I want to ask you on this tremendous Thursday, are you ready to release your faith knowing that we are called to stop making excuses? Well, brothers and sisters, we're going to keep it simple, saints. We're going to keep it simple and we're not going to lose sight of the end result of what God called us to do. What is the end result? The end result is when Jesus comes back and says, well done, good and faithful servant. The end result, man, is right now walking in the midst of your invitation. You were gave an invitation. You came over to Christ. Now you are in Christ today. You are part of his beloved. And guess what? You're an ambassador of Christ. You, we and I get an opportunity, man, to go and have confidence and go before the throne. We understand what it is to have God lift him up. Man, he highly lifted up to give him praise. And therefore, you have already said yes to the invitation of salvation. And he just wants us to continue to understand you are you crossed over by your declaration, by your confession. Now, you know well as I know, when you invite people over to a party, you invite people to come to your house. Hey, man, you got everything fixed up, ready to go. When they come in, they just they walk into the door, the ambiance that you have set up for your children or for, or for your, your guests to come in. They don't just stand at the door. You take their coat, you hang it up, you offer them something. You begin to let hospi your hospitality gift go to work for you. And before you know it, y'all come all to the table. People don't go sit at the table. They wait for direction. They get the direction. And as you know, man, you, you tell them what's on the menu and you serve your guests. See, that's the thing about, man, being in Christ. We just didn't come over to Christ and all of a sudden that stopped. Man, we become, we, be, we, we become the guests, man, in the kingdom of God. And therefore, he's looking forward for us to do our part and set forth. And therefore, let us stop making excuses. If God said come into his home, man, come on, go to church, stop making excuses. God says give your time, stop making excuses. God said give your talent, stop making excuses. God said give your treasure, may we stop making excuses. Hey, y'all, this is what God has called us to do. May we dig with deeper dive. Go back and read this story. Man, the kingdom of God is before us. What a tremendous opportunity that we all have received because the invitation of salvation brought us to the kingdom. Therefore, stop making excuses. Heavenly Father, we honor you, we love you, we bless you. We thank you, God, for giving us an opportunity to look through the lenses of your invitation. God, as we looked at the example of a, of a, of a man who gave a great banquet, and people made excuses why they didn't come. God, I pray that we won't make excuses to what your word telling us to do. God, we thank you that you've given us the invitation of salvation. And God, I pray that we just don't leave salvation there, but we work it through as a lifestyle. What is it that we still do once we come into the house of the kingdom? And God, I believe the things that we to do is to give of our time, to give of our talent, to give of our treasure. God, help us to stop making excuses why we're not adequately giving the way that you have told us to. God, I know that we are a guest in the kingdom. May we never forget that we are a guest. God, in the bridegroom has done the work on the cross for us. God, may we always take heed to your instructions. And so whatever areas of our lives that we are making excuses, this day and this day today, we will stop making excuses. And we'll be the son and daughter that you have called us to be. May you be glorified. On this tremendous Thursday. Let God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed on this tremendous Thursday. Brothers and sisters, I know. As I was putting this together. And God had gave me the story. I'm thinking to myself, I don't want to do this, God. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. You know. But you know what? It's good. It's good to be reminded. 
why we were called into the kingdom. Not just to sit and then stand at the door and do nothing, to follow the instructions. We to follow the instructions. If you get, you was given an invitation and you are now your guest in the kingdom. You're part of the kingdom. And as we are called to do our part, it's just three simple things. Give up our time, give up our talent, and give up our treasure. May that be true for all of us as we make a declaration because we did say yes to the invitation. I'm Pastor Robert Lewis. Gives God's blessings on each and every one of you. Let's keep doing it, y'all. Let's keep running this race. Man, let's finish this strong because I know and you know this. God is able to do measure more than we can add to imagine. But you have to imagine being what he called you to be. You've been invited to stop making excuses. Have a tremendous Thursday. Take care of yourselves.